Once upon a time, in a land far, far away called Egypt, the Jewish people were slaves. Check out my slaves here. Boy, look at them. I'm not a slave. They, they worked for a mean man named Pharaoh. I, I. Okay, this is not Purim, okay? Okay. Purim was last month. Okay. Who wanted to build the biggest cities in the world. He needed slaves to work all day and night, and he never let them rest. Even little boys and girls, can you imagine, had to work for Pharaoh. No rest. No little water. No. Can I have a little nap? No. Can I play with my friends? No. Can I get out of the hot sun? No. Or at least have some sunscreen? No. I protect you, little one. I know. 
No, we'll leave a basket and we'll make sure no water can get in. Then we'll fill it with the softest little blankets and make it into your own little boat so it can float safely down the river. I'm sure some kind person will press for you with open arms. Mommy, don't you worry. I'm the big sister and I'll hide behind the tall grass and watch my baby brother. I'll be right by the river's edge and once I put the basket down, I won't take my eyes off him for a second. Don't worry, Mommy. I know someone will help. Closer. This is Holy Land, your 
and we have to switch into service. But I am very angry that my people are so sad and treating us as slavos. You need to go back to Egypt and tell Pharaoh that God has spoken and say, and he should say, let my people go.
Jews out of Egypt, I will let them all depart. But as they started leaving, Pharaoh had a change of heart. With their matzah on their backs and a prayer on their lips, the great sea was parted because this Moses, he was hit with his staff in the water and his chosen God alone. He led the Jews from slavery and took his people home. Let me tell you a story about the Jews in Egypt. 